video on ADW launcher. This has finally been updated for Android 4.0, Android 4.1, and 3.2 or whatever it was before Honeycomb. Who cares about that stupid operating system? Whatever. It sucked. Anyways, this is a completely amazingly fast update. It is just gloriously awesome, if that is even a word or a combination or a sentence. Anyways, this is just amazing. This launcher is just so quick. It may seem like it's a little bit slow just because you're looking at it through the camera, but I'm telling you there's no lag at all on this launcher. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go as quick as possible considering I don't know how much space I have left. But anyways, let's go ahead and click this. Whole long press will give you to the configuration settings of ADW. Um, go ahead and lock desktop, which will just allow you to not move anything. That way you don't accidentally resize anything or change it. Settings just takes it to your phone settings. Resize screens I think is kind of weird and I don't understand what the hell the point of it is. Um, it just lets you actually resize your entire screen, which really I haven't understood why we need to do that yet. But that's just there for you, I guess. Um, go ahead and click ADW settings. That'll take you to the entire app settings, which you guys can go ahead and look at yourselves later on. I'm just going to go ahead and show you my favorites, which is basically the um, infinite scrolling. Um, just lets you go around and around um, on your home screen. Screen transition effect. This is what everybody likes to see. I'm going to go ahead and put on tilt. Which is going to be quite cool. It's going to go ahead and respring here for a second. Is it? Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty damn awesome. And it is just amazing how fast this thing is. You can always change that in the settings. Once again, press and hold, ADW settings. Um, uh, icons, you can actually put these in a theme and you can actually change everything you want about them. It's a very customizable launcher, I swear. It's, it's just amazing. Themes, everything from all the uh, ADW themes are compatible which is very nice and you can actually change customize uh, to put icons and all that stuff uh, docs there actually actually is a scrollable dock but I don't believe I have it on do I have it on I don't have it on but anyways there's a scrollable dock and you can actually put reflections on there let's see if I can try to do that for you guys app doc uh, doc style I have it on let's see where is it at reflections which is pretty cool. Um, auto scroll. I don't know what happened to my um. Well, no, you just have to figure that yourself. All I know is with default, it automatically has pages at the bottom, which is just perfect. It's gonna respring here a second. <laughs> you see the little reflections. That looks quite nice. Almost iPhone esque, even if we even we don't even care about that. But it's iPhone esque. There's a gesture in here which allows you to swipe down for the status bar, which is awesome. Also, if you click the menu button. It will also take you to the settings of ADW. Um, if you click, let's see, go ahead and go to uh, gestures. Um, you can go ahead and customize this. For example, if you swipe up, or let's see, swipe up, you can actually make it over an app, I believe. Yeah, there we go, open app. And it's going to open a list. Let's go up, open cal calculator. Let's go, ahead and go back. And there you go, it opens up the calculator which is fantastic. This is uh, quite an amazing launcher, as you can see so far. Go ahead and go back into the settings. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to themes, even though it just, it's just the same thing as before. Um, I'm going to go to app drawer. This will let you change the app drawer. I have it set to uh, vertical new, which is great. It just lets you scroll really fast up and down your apps. It's really snappy. Uh, of course, if you get EX, AW EX, you get a bunch more, which is cool also, especially for a uh, Home screen transition, you get also a bunch more. Uh, I'm going to show you that real quick, what that looks like. The, just the uh, app drawer. It is just flying down this. This is amazing. I don't even have that many apps, but still, it is just flying. One thing I do miss is that you can't actually add widgets from here. There might be a saying for that, but I'm pretty sure there's not. The way you add widgets is you wrong press, like on the old version of Android, and you just slide over, and you'll see your widgets right there. And along with shortcuts and folders, you can go ahead and add widgets. Um, this is going to show you all your widgets. If you switch to the right, you can go ahead and see all your widgets. It'll load them up real quick. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and click clock or whatever you want, and it'll show you what it looks like. For example, let's see if we click Facebook. There will be two little icons or little widgets which you can go ahead and drag, but nobody really cares about Facebook, so that's just great. Let's go ahead and do Flipboard. You know, Flipboard always every loves Flipboard. Um, yeah, it just shows you a bunch of your um, different sizes for your widgets. It's it's just it's an amazing way to add things to your home screen. It works very nicely here. I'll even go ahead and shut off to you because I'm gonna have that little thing right there. The 
Google's little sound search. Let's go ahead and go to Flipboard. Let's go ahead and just drag it or click it. And it's there, and you can always resize it, which I feel is always awesome. Um, you can share it and all that. You can resize this, which is just just great, you know. People always like to have different size widgets, especially for, um, example, my mail right here. You can always resize that, and that's just perfect for everybody. Um, I think I covered about just about everything I needed to show you guys. If not, then go ahead, just go ahead and check out the app. It is a great little launcher. It is free. I do believe that, um, or uh, for example, um, it is definitely worth it to buy it, and I probably will buy the uh, EX version soon enough because I love this launcher. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys subscribe, and I hope you guys like the video.